Okay, here's a, I believe it's pronounced Cuddy router. And here's the model number, particular model I'm working on, but other models may be similar. Got it connected up. You can see here, got it in the second port there. And plugged into a little adapter on my laptop. Since I don't have a traditional USB port, I'm just going USB-C to a little Ethernet adapter. Now I just uh, implement my command prompt and look for what IP address to uh, get into the uh, control panel of the router. I've typed in IP config, hit enter, and I'm on the 192.168.10.x. Okay, so next I'm going to access the back end of the router, 192.168.10.1. Okay, it automatically fills in the top part where it says auto. Password for default is admin, A-D-M-I-N. Okay, here you have to go through a few little setup things here. You're gonna have to hit next a few times and next. And here you would change your Wi-Fi. I'm not gonna do that here, but that's pretty standard. Just change whatever you want your Wi-Fi codes to be. And uh, this would be the place to do it. Okay, save and apply. <clears throat> okay, this should be the menu that pops up. We're going to want to go to general settings. I'm going to go over to WISP, W I S P here. I'm going to enable it. And now it's scanning my networks. We're here in the computer shop. So we'll see a number of them here. All right. I'm going to go and connect in here. Put in our password. Okay, it says connecting. Okay, and now you can see we're connected down there. I'm gonna go ahead and run a quick test. I'm gonna disconnect. Um, my Ethernet here. I'm going to connect to the Wi Fi, the default Wi Fi on the Cuddy or QD, whatever it is, and click connect. Since I've already done this once before, it remembered the password. And let's just run a quick speed test, make sure we're, we're done here. We're wireless now, so it's linking to our, it's bridged to our router inside of our company. And I'm just gonna go on here and just do a quick test. We've, we allocate a little bit for our front bench here, a little bit of a, High speed internet and there you go so we're now bridged to our router and we're getting internet hopefully that helps